Welcome to a new test and teardown video. Yeah, I'm looking at some of my vintage stuff at the moment. <laughs> this is so funny. It's, it's actually really, really big for a multimeter. This is a vintage multimeter. So not only is this doing milliamps, but look at that. It's also doing ohms, I think, between these two. And then eh, milliamps is here. Let's see if I can... Yes. Let's see if we can get some focus. So that's milliamps. And voltage. I don't know what the red one is. Well, that is how it is with this uh, unit. So for this to be able to do ohms, I expect there will be a battery in here. And it also looks like the screws are missing. I only see like four of the screws. And there's also... What is this doing? Maybe this is zero for the ohms. And what will that be? On and off switch. And that will be the different ranges. Probably for milliamps. I don't know. So 1,000, let me see if I can show you guys this, get the light, yes, here we go. Difficult to see, isn't it? It is really, really difficult for me to see as well. And to pick this up by a camera is impossible. And by the way, there's a hole here at the bottom. So maybe this is a mains cable that was supposed to be here. So the only way to poke us here is to open it. And look at the switches. This is like 1930s radio style knobs. Don't you recognize these knobs from really, really... Yeah, 1930s radio sets. I've definitely see this, uh, seen this design before. Oh, you are not going to believe this. There was indeed a battery holder here. And the wires for the battery. The battery is still... Oh, that is... That is something, huh? Sometimes you can find info about how old this is, but I don't see it on this label. Well, look. This is wet. Now I definitely need to go and wash my fingers. But the acid went all the way through Oh, it's actually hurting my eyes as well. Oh, yo, 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 some. Oh. I should definitely not touch this with my fingers. That is another thing, by the way. It would make holes here. Oh, hang on. I need to go wash my fingers. to remove this box because there is some kind of a chemical in this one that really really hurts my nose <coughs> <coughs> that is the internal electronics of this multimeter and I see a little bit of scratching here in the aluminium there's actually something written here I can't pick up what that is I mean, this looks a little bit like homebrew to me. This is definitely a tube socket. And somebody's writing something there as well, right? And here's a funny thing. Here I see 220, a 0, and 6.3. So that will be 
the filament and the high voltage for that tube. So this is a tube voltmeter or ohmmeter multimeter thingy with a tube. Wow, man, I did not expect to find that. And I also got a little bit of handwriting here. Oh, this is homebrew, old, old style. Look at the hole here. There, there was a big hole. Here, yeah, right? Where the main switch is. And that is hidden under that plate. So this is a reused plate from something else due to that hole. So this is home brew, man. And that, yes, also look at that switch is also a reused. See, all sorts of different solderings. Ah, home brew, very, very old, old style. And here is value is written on that pot meter, 10,000 ohms. Oh, don't you just love it. I'm sorry there's no tube in here. It could have been fun to see what this would do. <laughs> but there's not a lot I can do with this. Okay, this one is popped up, popped off here. So that is definitely a double switch to make it ohms. Or some of the other features. Yeah, this is... Look at the acid damage is really, really bad. If I am not wrong, this pe this is sink, and the thickness of this is drain pipe something, right? Ha <laughs> ha, sink drain pipe, definitely. There is no information whatsoever about how old this is, but this is. 1940, probably. Yeah, there's not a lot more to say about this, really. Maybe we should try and input some volt and just see. Ah, uh, that goes via the tube as well, right? Nope, it does not, because it's disconnected. So that's got to be... I don't know what that is. Disconnected. Yeah, but anyway, that was fun to uh, to open and uh, smell around in. <laughs> Hope you had a few minutes of fun. That is going to be a super short video. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope to see you again another day. Oops. Bye-bye.